Today's project is another cool project that has a much more profound uh, impact on the experience and usability of this lathe. Um, it was something that I recognized right from the beginning. I could see this being an annoyance in the future. It, it was these little handles uh, on the cross slide that don't have any bushings or bearings in them, so as you're using them, they will unscrew and fall off in your hand. Um, I also didn't like how small they were and that you could only grip them with your fingertips. So I got this new knurling tool and I decided to try it by making something that would also improve this lathe even more. Um, the first thing is the, uh, the grip on the, on the cross slide. I also machined a little bearing for it to, or bushing rather, um, for it to spin on so it can spin freely and it never will unscrew uh, and just fall off in your hand while you're using it. Um, I also opted to make it a, a bit bigger diameter so I can grip it more with the palm of my hand rather than just my fingertips. Um, it's, it's much more comfortable and gives a much more confident um, grip and adjustment when using the lathe and I only made this one so far so I still need to do the other one and since that one is already a little bit smaller um, originally this is the original uh, on the facing slide I guess you could say and this is the original on the uh, cross slide um, so I made this one kind of uh, to mimic the size of that and I'm going to use this smaller diameter material to make the other one. Um, so this video is going to be using the knurling tool and just kind of the mechanics of how to create one of these little bushings and create a handle that um, doesn't unscrew when you're trying to use it. So enjoy! Make sure the knurling rollers are at the exact top and bottom or as close as you can get to prevent any unnecessary forces. As a side note, I made these little clips out of some shim steel to go on the jaws so that when they clamp down on the newly knurled surface, it doesn't damage it. To make the bushing, I'm just using this small piece of steel that I found that seems to be the right size. Any slappiness here won't matter because when it's tightened down, the bushing won't move relative to the bolt. At this point I was machining this down to get it just slightly smaller than a drill bit that I picked. Um, that made the easiest way to have a nice fit and not have to buy any extra tools. Um, I also spent a little bit of time polishing it since this surface is going to be acting as a bushing. I wanted it to be as smooth as possible.
Since there weren't any marks on the cross slide angle indicator, I went ahead and just made three Sharpie marks at the zero degree and each one of the 30 degree points. Um, that way when I turned it, I had a reference to see what angle I was turning it to. thing ready for assembly. The new knob, the bushing that we made, and just a bolt that uh, happens to fit the threads. The way this works is the bushing has this step surface on it, and that corresponds to a step inside the handle. Um, that way the bolt can tighten down on the bushing and not the handle, and the handle is free to spin uh, on the bushing when it's installed. Um, a quick test fit will show that in this case I wanted the bushing to be just about flush with the end. Um, because of the cur curved surface that it was going to be mounted to, um, it had a little bit of leeway to be a little bit less than flush um, and still have clearance for the handle not to end up tightened down. Um, before I installed this, I put a little bit of anti-seize uh, lubricant on it. Um, really any lightweight grease should work, even heavyweight grease, but I just had this laying around, so I decided to use it. And it also helps to protect from any corrosion between dissimilar metals. In this case, the bushing is steel and the handle is aluminum, so any kind of adverse reaction should be prevented with this. Um, I also used a just small Allen wrench to put a little bit on the inside to make sure that it made it all the way down to the bottom when putting in the bushing. After that's done, just drop in the bushing. Followed by the cap screw. and tighten it down. Uh, the bushing will be remain tight while the handle is a little bit loose and allowed to spin on the bushing. This will prevent the uh, cap screw from unscrewing at any point and allow you to have more control while turning it by being able to firmly hold onto the handle. At this point, the video is pretty much over I really appreciate you watching, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to see future projects. And please be sure to comment below with any questions or feedback.